data from the MySQL, MySQL2. We can ex import the data to SDFS and uh, MySQL2. We can import the data to the Hive and MySQL2 HBase. We'll see these three things. And when we are importing the data, then uh, I'm going to show you how to import the data which is enabled by the primary key and uh, without primary key and uh, uh, how we are going to perform the incremental updates during the import right so this is cube import and coming to the cube export so we are going to export the data from hadoop cluster that is sdfs2 production database that is rdbms okay so we'll do the two types of imports. One is we are exporting the data first. And then we have to export only incremental data. Okay, so this is what we have in skew export. Right, so now in today's session, we'll discuss skew export and tomorrow session, we'll discuss skew import. Okay, right. So when it is coming to the data, the data is generally available in SDFS, correct? Now, uh, what I did generally will get the data from the RDBMS. We have to perform some uh, right operations on the data. Now I want to store the data back to the RDBMS, right? So in this situation, we use the command skew export. Skew export is a command which is used to export the data from the RDBMS, sorry, from the Hadoop cluster SDFS to RDBMS. Okay, so to export the data, right? So I'm taking a, some, I'm going to the Hadoop environment. Let me clear the screen. So I'm taking some text editor to create some test data. Okay, I'm writing some one comma, right, uh, some name I'm taking, Srikanth. And Prutvi uh, three uh, Santosh. Some data I'm having like this. Okay. Right. Some data. Right. So each field is separated by the delimiter. So this is my input data, which is available in a local file system right so just i'm going creating this file i'm saving this in uh, with a file name skew export okay i'm saving this in cloud era right i have created a some test data uh, with a file name skew export now what i want to do is now i want to uh, send this data i want to export the data this data to the mysql Correct. So first, see here uh, what we are going to do now. Uh, we are going to right export the data from the SDFS. Okay. So first, what we have to do? We have to get the. We have to make the data available in SDFS. Right. For this, uh, I'm just copying the file to the SDFS directory. Okay, so uh, I'll take the one terminal. Okay, I have started the MySQL in this terminal, right? Uh, I'm taking another terminal for SDFS. Okay, so ls, so we have a file, the file uh, I have uh, created is sqp export, right? This file name. Now I want to move this file to sdfs. So I'm running the command hadoop space fs hyphen put and uh, the file name is sqp space export, right? I want to move this file to the sdfs. So I'm writing sqp export, right? Now this file is available in sdfs. Okay. You can check with this command Hadoop space fs hyphen cat sqp exp word art. Okay, 
press enter okay now see this some data we are having in the file sqp export right this file is available in stf if you want to check the complete URI, just write slash user cloud error right is the complete URI for this file okay so what i want to do now i want to copy the contents of uh, sqp export file to the uh, mysql database right so this is the input data which we have to export now where have to export how to export this to the mysql so create a table in mysql i am going to create some table create table so i am writing skew export okay so some student id is an integer student name is a varchar okay use test in the test database i'm going to create a table right the table name is skew export now if you run select the star from skew it's an empty table okay now from this sdfs i want to move the data to the mysql table right so for this i'm taking under terminal for mysql okay so right for the skew okay now uh, i'm going to run a command to perform the export so what's the command we have to write skew space then write the command export okay skew space export then write the connection string connect jdbc colon where uh, my i'm using the database mysql which is available in a local host okay skew export then write the connection string okay now what we have to specify right what is the database name which you are going to export that is the test and what is the table name in mysql skew export okay the table name is skew export correct now from where how to export the data how to export the data from the user cloud era skew export right so this is the name of the file where i'm having the data right so same right here with the parameter export iphone dar export iphone dr then specify from where you have to export right how to export this from user slash cloud era slash and what is the file name right the file name is skew skup export okay now when you're exporting the data from the sdfs have uh, fields are separated what is the delimiter here the comma right each field id and the name these fields are separated by the delimiter comma right we have to specify the same with a parameter input fields terminated by okay then write the delimiter that is comma okay see just write the skew export command then write the connection string and what is the database name that is where you are going to export the data i'm going to export the data to the test database and the table name is sqp export and what is the location in sdfs the file location is uh, user cloud data skew export right so the same specify the uh, location of the sdfs with a parameter export iphone dr means from this directory i want to export the data right when you're exporting this file from the sdfs half you have specified the input files what is the delimiter in input data right this write the same thing with the parameter inputs hyphen fields hyphen terminated by write the delimiter comma half the fields are separated press enter Uh, 
Ajay, in this lake, we don't need to mention the number of mappers. Uh, no need. If you mention, also it won't throw the other. By default, it will take four mappers. Okay, by default, it will take one mapper. Four. Four, okay, okay. Okay, so we got an error and with the one record, let me check here first. Right, it's uh, we have imported one, two, five, three. And why the error with Abhishek? Because I have given in self comma, I have given the full stuff here, dot, so that it's unable to read the Abhishek record. Right, so now we have exported the data from the SDFS to my SQL. So this is how to perform the cube export. Okay. So now, uh, right. So today I have updated this. Now, what we are going to do? Uh, I have changed some data. Suppose I have given a new ID uh, for the Raju. That is, see, I am taking uh, this one and I am giving uh, not five. So Raju will be given six. Right. I'm saving this now I want to update so whatever the updates you did in the SDFS I want to reflect that into the into my skill table right so for this we have to perform the incremental uh, export right uh, we have to perform the skew export in a updated mode right so for this let me change this file uh, just change the content. I uh, have given Raju 6. I'm moving this file to SDFS again. Okay, so I'm copying the file. Uh, the updated one is uh, 6 Raju, right? The file name is cube export. I'm copying this file to the SDFS with the command Hadoop space FSF and put. Now the SQP export is moved to SDFS where this new exp this new file contains some updated data, right? Now uh, I'm going to run this command here. Okay, uh, it's simple. Just write as well. Write the command SQP, then space export. Okay. After that, what you would write? You would write the connection string. Connect JDBC colon MySQL colon slash slash localhost and the database name is test and then write the table name. So what is the table name? SQP export is the table name, correct? And then uh, what I want to do now, uh, I just want to uh, update the uh, data into the MySQL, right? How you have the data into the SDFS, the same data I want to uh, make uh, changes into the MySQL table because I have changed the Raju 6, right? The same thing should be reflected into the MySQL, right? For that, uh, we have to use one parameter, uh, update key ID, right? The table name is skew export and then write uh, update hyphen key ID. Okay, so sorry, update keys na ID and uh, so update mode is okay, update only. They write these two pair of parameters, right? So what is your updated keys ID? So in my scale, uh, 
uh, what is the field we are having that is id right std id so right here uh, update field is std id student id is the update key and i just want to update through update only mode update mode is update only okay after that specify the directory from where you have to export so just write the export iphone dir okay i want export from the user cloud era and the file name is sqp export okay and uh, write the delimiter input iphone fields iphone terminated by okay what is the delimiter comma okay run this command okay we got an error uh, let me correct this where we have the error right what is saying here in error got error creating the database manager right because i wrote i wrote some wrong connection string it seems okay so it's a jdbc colon Okay, again we got one more error. Table test SQP export does not does not exist. Right? What is the table name in MySQL? SQP export the table name. Right? So just write the table name here. I wrote SQP export. No, it's a SQP export. Okay, uh, right. So MapReduce export job is exported for records. Now uh, let me open this one, MySQL terminal. So actually Raju is how much? Five, right? Uh, now I'm going to run this. Select start from skip export. We got Raju five. Okay, fine. So let me check this where we got the error. 